Hey, this is Steve with Steve's Tech Stuff. Today we're talking about an important topic, keeping children safe from inappropriate online content using NextDNS. Let's get to it. When we want to visit a website, we type in an easy to remember domain name like amazon.com or google.com, but these domain names are for us humans to easily navigate the web. The web browser doesn't use this domain name directly. It needs the IP address. Instead, it sends it over to a domain name server. The DNS server then provides the IP address of the domain name, just like looking up someone's phone number in a phone book. Once the DNS server finds the IP address, it sends it back to your browser, and then the browser can load the website. Now that we know how DNS works, let's take a look at NextDNS and see how we can easily add an extra layer of protection to keep our kids safe online. NextDNS is a DNS service that helps protect your family online by filtering harmful and inappropriate content. When you set your DNS servers to use NextDNS on your home router, it enables you to block certain types of content such as adult sites, gambling, and even social media. This is all done at the DNS level. You can also customize the deny list and the allow list according to your preference if the categories don't give you enough control. NextDNS also provides analytics and monitoring tools to help you track what is being accessed on your network and ensure that the filtering is working as intended. Regularly reviewing these logs can help you make necessary adjustments to your settings to maintain a safe online environment for your family. Most home internet connections use dynamic IP addresses, which changes from time to time. This can present a problem when using NextDNS as NextDNS uses your IP address when assigning the filtering and security to your devices. We can use a dynamic DNS service to ensure NextDNS maintains your current IP address. I'll leave a link to this Cloudflare article in the description below if you want to read more about dynamic DNS. Now that we understand how everything works, let's dive into implementing everything. First, let's head over to NextDNS's website. It's free to get started and offers various plans based on your needs. You can find the link to NextDNS in the description below. Using this affiliate link helps support the channel. Go ahead and click on try it now and go ahead and click on sign up at the top. After signing up, you'll be taken to this dashboard. Here you'll have a new configuration up at the top called my first profile. So we can go over to the settings tab and update the name right here. If this is gonna be for your home, you can name it home. If it's gonna be for your office, you can name it office, whichever one you want to really do. For this example here, we'll just call it test. Go ahead and save this. Back over to the setup tab. And now let's configure the privacy settings under the privacy tab. You can enable options like blocking trackers and ads. This helps maintain privacy and reducing distraction. Next DNS automatically gives you a few block lists that you can add. Next we have native tracking protection and this is basically your operating systems and the way they track you. And you can add whatever operating systems necessary in your home or office environment that you need blocked. Now we can move on to the important part, the parental controls. Go over to the tab at the top. So under the websites and apps, if you have specific websites or apps that you want blocked, you can add them here. Otherwise, the way I do it is with the categories and you can just add specific categories that you don't want uh, users getting to. Recreational time is not something I use, but you can set a time frame to where these blocked categories are available. And you have the options to enable safe search, YouTube restricted mode, and to disable any bypassing methods like VPNs or proxies. Back at the top under the security tab, this enables options like blocking malware and phishing sites. This will protect your devices from malicious content and adds an additional layer of security to your internet browsing. Once your configuration is ready, you can go back to the setup tab. And here you'll find the instructions to set up NextDNS on various devices like Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and even directly on your router, which is how we're gonna do it. Setting up individual devices like Windows will only set up that individual device. If you set up NextDNS on your home router, that is basically the central point that all of your devices go to to get internet access, and that is where all of your devices are requesting DNS information. 
So if we set the DNS on your home router, then all of your home devices will use NextDNS for their DNS lookup. First, let's link the IP address to ensure our devices pull the correct configuration from NextDNS. If you see in the middle of the screen here, it says this device is using NextDNS with another profile. It knows this by the linked IP address. So go ahead and click on the link IP to ensure the device pulls the correct configuration. Now we just need to update the router to use NextDNS as the domain name servers to start filtering content. Setting up NextDNS on your home router is pretty straightforward, but it varies depending on your manufacturer. Google your model's router and refer to the manual for more detailed instructions on this. I do have two example routers that I'm gonna go over. First one is an Asus. Asus is pretty straightforward. Under advanced settings, we go to the WAN settings here and the WAN DNS settings are right here. And then we just need to simply change this to no. And we can enter in the DNS server settings. And then the server settings we're gonna use are the ones that are on the setup tab on next DNS. So it would be this 4590-28223 as our primary. And then the 4590-30223 as the secondary. The ASUS router offers dynamic DNS inside the router here. Set the tab at the top under dynamic DNS. We go ahead and click on that. And then we can simply enable the DDNS client and we just need to give it a host name. And an SSL certificate is not necessary. And then we just go ahead and apply this. And then the domain name would be stevestechstuff.asuscom.com. Then back over to next DNS. We need to go under the show advanced options here. And we can configure a DDNS URL. So simply just click on configure DDNS and we need to enter in the URL. Our next router on the list here will be a Netgear. We're gonna go to internet on the left-hand side here. And we can see uh, midways of the screen, the domain name server addresses. Currently this is set to get automatically from the ISP or internet service provider. And then you'll just simply change this to use these DNS. And then you would just enter the DNS servers from next DNS, which are the uh, 45.90.28.223 and the 45.90.30.223. And then we just apply this. Netgear also offers a dynamic DNS service under advanced and then under advanced setup. There's dynamic DNS settings right here. Go ahead and open that up. And then we can just enable the dynamic DNS service. And Netgear actually doesn't offer this service themselves. They're using a third party, it looks like, either DYN DNS or new IP. These are two of the bigger dynamic DNS uh, providers. If you were to use this, Dynamic DNS, you would need to go to that page, dyndns.org, and sign up for an account. There you can set up a host name, the URL, the username, and the password. Once you have all that information, just come back in here, fill it out, save this, and you're good to go. You will need to make sure you go back over the next DNS, come back into advanced options and configure DDNS, and enter the URL that you just created over at dyndns.org so that uh, NextDNS maintains your IP address. If your home router does not have a built-in DDNS service, we can use DuckDNS in a simple application to keep your IP address updated. If we head over to DuckDNS.org and go ahead and get logged in, in the middle of the screen here, we can create a new DuckDNS.org URL. Now that we have our domain, we need to install an application that will ensure our IP address stays up to date with our new DuckDNS domain name. In the description below, I added a link to a DuckDNS updater. This application will ensure your IP address stays up to date with your with DuckDNS. Go ahead and open up the link in the description below. And you can grab the 7-zip or the zip file either way. Once you have this file, we'll go ahead and unzip it. And go ahead and open up the application. This is gonna want the domain name that you just created. Back over to DuckDNS, and the domain name is this right here. And the tokens at the top of the screen.
and the interval can be every day, every one day. And we can go ahead and okay this. If everything's working, you should get a yellow duck down by your clock. And now let's head back over to next DNS and update the DDNS URL. Copy the duck DNS URL and we'll paste it into the DDNS. Go ahead and save this. And that should do it for our home router. Next, we need to cover our mobile devices. For an Android device, we can set up a private DNS. We head back over to the setup tab on next DNS. Following the instructions on the screen here, we're gonna go into settings and then network and internet. And here's where the private DNS settings are. And we can go ahead and enter the TLS DNS server address that's here on the next DNS webpage. Once we have that entered, go ahead and save out and go ahead and exit. And you should be good to go on your Android device. I don't own an Apple device. I was going to use my daughter's phone for this example, but we just returned from Florida and she decided to leave her phone there. But the iOS instructions are here at the bottom next to the Android settings. Next DNS's recommended method is to use the provided link to generate a configuration file. If we go ahead and click on that link, it looks like we can select our profile and then give your device a name. Click on this download link or you can create a QR code or you can create a short link to get it over to your iOS device. And on the right hand side here, we have the different instructions for the various devices if you choose to download the config file. If you do run into any issues with the profile generator, uh, Apple does have another option, which you can just go under the iOS app store and download the next DNS application. And then once you have the app, you can go under the custom configuration and enter in this code, which will tie the Apple device to the correct configuration. And once you have the config ID entered, go ahead and just enable next DNS and that'll take care of your Apple device. You now have your home router and mobile devices filtered through next DNS, keeping your children and anyone using your internet connection much safer online. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Steve's Tech Stuff for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Stay safe online and I'll see you in the next video.